Number 20, I recommended, that's past, that they go to the new restaurant. So in the past, I did something. Let's, they recommend, no. Yeah, you're right. They recommend day? Yes. Let me relay recommend day? Okay. Where on? Or al nuevo restaurante i when you're done i there's a couple there's something that i, I want maybe um bryce could distinguish the difference for me um because okay. i don't want to hold any i don't want to hold it up now but i, I do want to ask the question oh it's the next it. question actually i do have it's 21 um the difference between uviera and uviera ubis and i don't know if it's a regional thing or Uviese, excuse me. I didn't know if it was a regional thing or not. Most of the time, Uviese is in writing, but you do hear people say it sometimes. I, I was talking to someone at work the other day, and they said Uviese. So you do okay. hear it sometimes. Not as common as Uviera, and, and very common in writing, but not very commonly spoken versus how much Uviera is spoken. That's right. Go ahead and translate this, Julie. What's this? What's this mean here? <laughs> um, I doubt that. Um, that he could have been it, done anything different. Okay. That he has. So who's, that, that's the. That's the. That's the question. Ubiera, who's okay? I think you probably know the hecho algo diferente, right? done something different but who's doing it that's the question what is Uriera? he would have he, yes he, there we go he have done differently. He would have. all right hubiese hecho he would have done <laughs> could that refer to anybody else so I doubt is it, is it always a he different is it always could be she could be she could it be you yes no well, it could be you formal, yeah, it right? Could. Yes, it could, could be, be the formal. formal you. Well, yeah, you mm -hmm. formal, yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm going to change this to he, she, you. Would have done. So this is the thing, Julie. Um, hubiera, hubiese is the would have. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can hear either one in conversation, but hubiera is normally what you hear people say. I'm Just sorry, Uviera. which one do you normally hear people say, Uviera? Uviera. Uviera is oh, very okay. common. All right. I'm not sure that he understands it completely. So that's something that, that's my present state of mind, right? What what category of examples? No are these? Estoy. Doubt. These are doubt. Last. Doubt. Sorry. No it's estoy. Doubts. Doubts. You got to put the B you, in there. <laughs> Could be close to donuts. No. <laughs> donuts. Okay. I'm not sure that he understands it completely. No, estoy que seguro que. Um, no estoy seguro que. Que. Mm -hmm. uh, he understands. Entiendo. Entiendo. Entiendo completamente. You said you said it right the first time, Carol. Then you changed it. Lo, lo entienda completamente. Uh -huh. Entienda. Entienda. And here's that day in here again. No estoy seguro de que. De que. No seguro de que la tienda. Lo entienda. Entienda. All right. Number 23. Nega yeah. que <laughs> niega niega que haya sucedido sucedido all right um niega what does niega mean deny deny isn't yeah. it yeah so what's this sentence um I doubt it. He denied that. Oh, he denied, denies 
that he had, I don't know. That it happened. See it. K that, K that, um, that, um, yeah, that it happened. Yes, yeah, it that happened. that's right. Yeah. That yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That it happened. Aya sucedido. Oh, denies. So it's not past tense. I'm sorry. Oh, it isn't. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's present tense. He does oh, he deny does now, change. right? Yes. Uh, I apologize for that. He denies something that happened in the recent yeah. past. He denies something in the present. In the yeah. present, he denies something. I don't think they know what they are doing. I think those are pretty inter interchangeable, even though pensar is to think and creer is to believe. Okay. But uh, either one would work there. No pienso, no creo. I hear no creo a lot more often. Mm -hmm. Right, Bryce? No, it, creo. no yeah. creo is just in all. This it's situation, just... Yeah, in this situation. Yeah. Definitely. Or no creo, okay. Mm hmm. Okay, so no creo que what? There we go. That's the word. Que no sepan. Que... Okay. So, um, Anna, is it okay to put ellos? No creo que ellos sepan. Isn't that that's optional, right? Because because sepan. Um, is automatically going to tell us that we're talking about them. So the EOS is a little bit redundant unless we are, you know, like like, Sorry, like those people there. We're, we're really specifying, like, mm -hmm. they. I don't believe they know what they're yeah. doing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, 25. What are we getting into here, Bryce? Now we are, is that still a part of? Oh, it's still, still yeah. part of the doubt. Okay. That's the okay, last the one doubt. The doubt. I don't think, I don't believe, I don't think something. Let's go back to Raquel. I, I love it when she does it. Yeah, come on. The Española Inglés. A mí no me parece que ella realmente quiera solucionar el problema. I doesn't, no, a mí no me parece, no, I don't. It doesn't seem to me. Seem to me. All uh, right, okay. Oh, it doesn't seem to me. It doesn't seem to me. Uh, mm -hmm. It doesn't seem to me that she, oh. that she really wants yes. to solve she, the problem. Mm -hmm, to solve, yes. Yeah. Yeah. To solve yeah. yeah. Um, I would say in English, it would be very common to say, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Raquel, nosotros también decimos, doesn't seem like, doesn't seem like she really wants to solve the problem. It's very common. Okay. Okay. It's, it seems like. Okay. Now, just something real quick on this one. It's just just something to think about. It just depends on what you're trying to say. Like if you weren't sure of the subjunctive in the situation, you know, like I said, the example says it doesn't seem like, which that causes the subjunctive. Mm -hmm. But if I said it seems like she doesn't want to solve the problem, then that would be an indicative. And that would be yeah instead of. Yeah. That's some high level stuff there, Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is really good. Uh, please, you know, grab this document after we're done here and uh, do come back to number 25 and have a look at that. What Bryce just said, the distinction between it doesn't seem like versus it does seem like. Right. Mm. Mull that over a little bit. Thank you.